Welcome everybody. You're here because you want to learn about GIFs. Or is it GIFs? Eh, that's a discussion for another time. My name is David Campman and I'm here to help you and your business learn about how to use GIFs to better reach your customers. So what is a GIF? A GIF is an animated picture. So when you see a picture online, it's usually not moving. A GIF will have a set of frames that will continuously loop over and over again. And you might be wondering, why would I want to use a GIF when I could just make a video? Videos are great. They really are. But with a video, the user often has to take an action to hit play on. And then it will only cycle through once. On top of that, videos are often more data heavy versus a GIF is the same size as a regular image that you would see online. Now, why would you want to make GIFs? A GIF has no audio on it. And studies are showing that many people, when they watch videos on Facebook, on Twitter, and Instagram, aren't usually clicking the audio. So, what you're doing is you're already just assuming no audio. So you're kind of cutting out the middleman. GIFs add an extra oomph to your social message that you put out there. Not content with just an image, you could add an extra little emphasis point to really carry home what you're saying. And it makes it really easy for you to provide content that your users do not have to dig to get to. Need a couple step instruction to show them how to do something? Put it in a GIF and you don't have to worry about them having to click a link to get to that content. It's right there, more readily accessible. Let's get to the fun part, making the GIFs. I'm gonna be focusing on tools that you can use on iPhones and on Macs. That's not to say there aren't uh, readily available tools for Android or Windows devices, but iPhones and Macs tend to get the newest types of tools for GIFs. So we're gonna focus on them because I think they're a little more polished than some of the other ones available. But that's my personal preference and you're welcome to disagree on that. iPhone apps are gonna be very useful to you because they're there when you need it. If you're on the go and there's an event going on or you have in a moment that just shows up, if your iPhone is with you, you can capture it and share it right there on a GIF to your customers and to your audience. The Mac apps are more polished. You can do more with them. They're a little more versatile and they're kind of easier to use because you get more screen real estate to play with. That being said, if you're gonna make a GIF, it's up to you on when do you want it and when is it needed? Is this something that could wait a couple hours, the Mac app might be more useful then. So let's start with the iPhone apps that we're going to cover. First one up is Lively. And as the name suggests, that takes the live photos from an iPhone and will let you convert them to a GIF. Now, obviously, you will have to have the live photo mode on, or at least it has to be able to work on your iPhone in order to do so. So what you can do is you just pick one of your photos and I'm gonna tap this one right here of the alligator moving and it will load it for you in a GIF format and you can edit it. So if I wanna get rid of the first part where the finger appears and I wanna get rid of the last little part where you don't see a lot of the bar moving then. And you can just see now you got the little alligator moving through the water. I can make more settings in here, changes, change the size of the image, which is very important because GIFs, the larger the size, not all the social networks will take them. And the last thing I'm going to point out is it has this little watermark on it for Lively. If you're a brand or business, highly recommend you pay the couple dollars and get rid of the watermark. Next up is Boomerang. And with Boomerang, it will take a set of frames 
when you press the record button on it. So I'm going to press record and flip through the book Ask Gary V Show. Now from here, I can export it straight to Instagram, Facebook, or others, or just save it to my camera roll and do something with it later. And now we have Jiffy Cam, and Jiffy Cam is from the Jiffy website, which has become the preeminent uh, source of GIFs, or at least it is right now. So it would make sense for them to have an app available for you. And what this will do is take any of your videos that you have on your device or let you make new videos as well and put overlays onto them. So if I go back out of here, I can take and get an overlay and record and use any of these stickers or overlays onto it. So I could manipulate this and give Gary V a different set of eye sets or yeah, if we wanted to be really mean, we could give them a set of horns. That's not really nice though, so we're not gonna do that. But you get that recorded, and we'll do this. Give them some new eyes. Record this. After it's done recording, then you can do more overlays onto it after the fact. I could change it to a different layout, and then next it will convert it to a GIF for me and then I can share it where I want to share it. So I'm going to send this one out to Gary and see what he thinks. This Mac app is called GIF Brewery 3, and this will let you take any type of video or screen capture or live video and turn it into a GIF. So this is uh, the, actually the content that I used of Jiffy Cam the, as a saved movie on my Mac, and I trimmed it down to a second clip of eight seconds, uh, eight and a half seconds, let's say. And I can manipulate where I want this to go, and if you hit play, you'll actually hear the audio because it gives you that power to put text over it, add new layers if you wanna do something to it. And I can go over here and add a layer of content in, so if I wanna add text, I can actually put in text that is what's being said at that time in the GIF. When I get it the way I want, so if I put this in here, create it with GIF Brewery, say that's what I want. When I'm done, I just have to export it out as a GIF and it's saved on my Mac and I can do with it what I want from that point. All right, let's assume that you are now on board and you go, I know why GIFs exist I know why I would want to make a GIF. I know how I can make a GIF. The last part is, what do I make a GIF of? Right? That's the most important part. So it's a good thing you stayed to this point. There are three really easy times that you would want to make a GIF. And for businesses, this can be very useful. The first, have a custom reaction. So instead of using some movie to say, good job, everybody, you can have your team. Make a quick video of everybody saying, good job. And then you can use that to share it, okay? It adds extra emphasis. It's custom content. It's your team reaching out to your audience. More impact. Say you have something that you want to demonstrate to your users, or maybe there's a new step or two to access things on your website, or maybe you've realized that, hey, everyone is wanting to add this to their, to their cart on your e-commerce site, and you wanna make it easy for them. You wanna say, you just gotta do this, all right? With a GIF, you can make a quick video walking through those steps that, that's all you have to do. It's now in their hands. They can see it. They can see it over and over and over until they go, that's exactly how to do it. The last one requires just a little bit of dedication because it's a doing a time lapse. So you set up your camera in a certain location, use a GoPro or a webcam or whatever, and record what's happening at that event 
the whole time. What you can do now is crunch that all together and put it into a GIF. So now you can show people this is how it's done. I'm thinking, where have I seen GIFs like this before? Well, I'll tell you where. If you go onto Facebook and if you have people that like to cook, that like to see uh, cooking examples, GIFs are being used constantly there because they'll take what they're doing and they'll make it into a GIF really quick and it will walk through the steps of how to make that product and it entices people because they go, wow, here's where I started and then they get that awesome looking food. They want to learn more. So they click and they go to the full recipe on their website. Watch the video. Okay. It's very useful. So those are just three examples and I'm sure you can think of more. All right, thank you for taking the time to listen to me and hopefully you got a lot out of this video. I had a lot of fun making it and I love sharing it with you all. And if you really like the video, please like the video. That would be huge. Share it on to your friends and there is gonna be more coming. So hit subscribe. Thank you very much and you guys have a very wonderful day.